Hey fans, welcome back to my channel. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, welcome back to the first ever reaction video of 2023. We finally made it. Uh, it's your boy Aves coming back to you again. Happy 2023, happy new year. Sorry that I was gone. First of all, the whole week I had nothing filmed or uploaded or edited or anything. Uh, getting over being sick. So I apologize for that. I shouldn't apologize for being sick, but like it does kind of hurt the week. Especially uh, for me being a content creator, it does hurt that for an entire week I had nothing uh, edited or uploaded. So I do apologize for that, sincerely. And um, but it's okay, we're back, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get things popping. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you for joining me. And if you are new to the channel and you've seen some of my content and you enjoy what you see. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel, Moonlight Antonio, where we give you reactions, K-pop, and inspiration from under the beautiful moonlight, and as well as turning on that bell for notifications so that you can be alerted to uh, my next upload today. And please excuse my voice. Uh, I'm still recovering from the cold, so my voice doesn't sound that great. I can feel it and hear, hear it, so it's like... <laughs> But we'll just, just bear with me, okay? I hope that everybody has enjoyed their first few days of the new year. And I hope that everybody is uh, doing well and is happy and healthy. And uh, I'll save the rest of my little new year speech for the end of the video. But for now, um, let's get into today's music video reaction. Uh, I'll, actually, I'm going to tell you guys now, just real quick. I'm going to make up for the week. All right, I have like two shiny videos for us to uh, look at, okay? So I, I don't know if I'm uploading two videos on the same day, don't know if I'm doing that or if I'm just gonna like paste them. Depends on when I start them and when I finish them, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that for you guys. So there will be hopefully a total of three videos this week to make up for it. Um, we'll see how that goes. So, Today, at this moment, we are going to be looking at J01 uh, Infinity. I was going to originally look at the dance performance version, but I want to look at the music video version this time, the regular music video version. So we're going to look at that together uh, right now. So, all right, let's go. J01 Infinity. Oh, look at that hair. There's always so many interesting things going on in these MVs. Y'all know I usually look at the dance performance ones, but today... Oh, that's nice. I'm not even paying attention to concept right now. I'm just looking at the actual video. Just enjoying the video. You know, that flying bed looking thing reminds me of uh, Little Nemo. I don't know if any of y'all know Little Nemo, but that's what it looks like. You know what? These kinds of rooms, I feel like J01 is always in these kinds of rooms. Okay. They always do well with these kinds of songs, man. They don't, they don't play. J01 don't play. One thing I've learned, J01 don't play. What? Look at this. Okay, I, I don't know what I just saw, but whatever that was, I'm talking about clothes. Y'all know how I am about fashion. Whatever that was, 
I'm gonna be looking for it throughout the video. I wanna find it. Cause that was actually pretty dope. Oh, okay, that, I think that's what it was. It's like jeans cut out and, on, and it's like attached to, I guess a hoodie or something. That's dope, dude. Pro big props to the fashion department. Okay. A little dance break. This reminds me of the Tree of Life for a minute, for a split second. I'm so glad that KJ Pop exists. JK Pop. Sorry, JK Pop. It's still hard to say without putting K in front of the J, but y'all know what I mean. It's dope. It's dope. I like it. Yeah. Yo, J01. There's more dancing in even the regular MV than in like a lot of Korean stuff. Like I've, I've noticed that there's way more dancing involved or at least that they show. Back in the day when K-pop was like coming up, they showed more of the choreography. But over time, they show a lot more of the, like the theatrics and stuff. But I guess it depends on what group you're watching or what group specializes in that sort of thing or whatever. This is a this was a good MV. This was a really good MV. And the fashion, J01. I don't know where y'all getting these clothes from. <laughs> I don't know where y'all are getting these clothes from. But I would rock all that. This one dude's got a choker on. Bro, that's like I mean, yes, it's K-pop style, but like, it's still good fashion. And Japan has always been known for good fashion. So it's really nice to see fashion like this. I really, I really admire and appreciate J01's MVs a lot because they do things that, even though I've seen it before, the fact that it's a Japanese, a full, you, a full Japanese group, there's no Koreans in it. There's no, there's no, there's nothing else in it. It's just a full Japanese group doing this stuff. That to me is amazing. Singing in Japanese, doing all this stuff in Japanese, full Japanese group, yet they have like the Korean kind of swag to them. I, that's dope. That's dope to me. I, I like that. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's what I'm talking about. J01 is one of those groups that, like I said so many times, you will sometimes, if you listen to their music, you might even forget that they're speaking Japanese. But you listen to their music and you're gonna, your mind is gonna drift off into like K-pop world. And you're gonna forget this is, uh, you know, Japanese K-pop that you're listening to. And it actually makes me feel good because I feel like this is gonna be the year and the era where a lot of different kinds of K-pop is going to come out. We've seen BTS branch off into more American Western kind of songs. And now we see, you know, JK pop rising up. I wouldn't be surprised if we see other kinds of races embracing K-pop and like creating K-pop groups. Actually, you know what? Speaking of which, for those of y'all that don't know, uh, Chad Future, I'm sure some of y'all have heard that name before, Chad Future. Chad Future is coming back. He's coming back. I thought he had left, but I always hoped he would come back. Um, I wasn't hip to Chad Future at the beginning. Didn't even know that he was out there. 10 years ago, y'all, 10 years ago, Chad Future came to Korea and started doing like K-pop. And Chad Future is not a uh, Korean. For those of y'all that don't know, I'm gonna put up a picture so y'all can see who I'm talking about. Some of y'all might actually know who this person is just by looking at him. Chad Future is um, an unsung hero for his time. 10 years ago, he 
branched off and tried to do like Western K-pop, right? Tried to blend both genres together. Quite a few people liked what he was doing and what it represented, what it meant, you know, what he was doing. And then there was a quite a number of people that did not like that Chad Future was doing this because K-pop, as many people still believe, belongs to Korea. So to try to like get other different races that are not Korean to do Korea, Korean pop, it's it's unheard of and it, it's kind of weird to some people. And I think Chad was a little ahead of his time, but I feel like it was good that he did it because now in 2023, he's coming back after 10 years of being gone. And I believe that man was perfecting his craft so that he could come back and do this, this, this uh, Western version of K-pop. So for anybody who doesn't think that Japanese people should do K-pop or Actually, there's some people that think that it's okay for any Asian to do K-pop as long as it's not a Western thing because of reasons. And I honestly think it's because of the appearance. Some Japanese people can pass as Korean if they speak Korean and they sing Korean and all that stuff because of the look, because of the appearance, because they're Japanese, they're Asian, they have the, the features, the Asian features. Chinese, same thing. Uh, Thai Thailand, same thing. That it just it just that's how it goes. So if you see an American doing something like that, then it's unheard of. Now Fatu, I think that's how you say her name from uh, Black Swan. She's not American, but she's a she's a black woman. She's in K-pop. She's in a K-pop group, and there are other people that are in there too. But a lot of them are Asian, like with Asian features and stuff. She's like, she doesn't have Asian features at all, but she's in a group, a K-pop group. I think it's time we embrace and accept that K-pop can be given or K-pop can be interpreted and embraced by all cultures all over the world. And I did initially say that I think, think it wouldn't be uh, as great if they had like a Western version of K-pop. Cause it just, something about that just kind of feels weird. But at the same time, I myself want to like do stuff like this. I want to produce music and sing in Korean and stuff. So I feel like, how can I say it would be weird if it's something I want to do. Now granted, I think me doing it, me doing it would also be weird too for a lot of people, not just me. But it's something that is born from passion and love for the genre. And that's why we want to do it. That's why people like Chad Future exist. So seeing JK Pop, I think I said that right, JK Pop. <laughs> seeing JK Pop branch off like this, Seeing JK pop be created from Japanese pop and K pop put together, why not? Why not have Western pop and K pop put together? It kind of happened with BTS. Butter, what else? Dynamite, it happened. It, ha it already happened. Monster X, they, they did their thing, their Western uh, music. We need to talk about that too. We, ne we need to talk about that. I just thought of another conversational topic, K pop related. Why Super M failed at Western music. Cause they, yeah, they, in my opinion, Super M, what they were branded to be, they did not do well. But anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, that's it for this video. My time is running out and I don't want to have to keep going back and forth with clicking on and off the, the camera. Yeah, J01, this, this right here, this, this is the future. K-pop is branching off. We need to accept it and embrace it. I mean, even if you don't want to embrace it, you have to at least accept the fact that K-pop, Japanese pop and K-pop have merged, become J-K-pop. There's still J-pop and there's still K-pop, but there's also J-K-pop. There's also about to be Western K-pop, which I mean, like I said, BTS kind of already dabbled into it, but imagine Western groups that are K-pop. I don't know how that's gonna look. I don't know how people are gonna receive it, but it, it, it could very well happen. 
it could very well happen. And you know how uh, the West is. If it's marketable, if it's profitable, they'll do anything. So don't be surprised if we see this in the future. It is 2023 after all. We may as well embrace, embrace what's happening right now with pop culture today. So that's it for this video. J01, amazing MV, amazing choreography from what I saw. The, the guys, they never skip on the, the fashion department. They never skip. It's always impressive to see it. Amazing vocals, amazing, y'all can sing. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just really happy. This is what we need. This is what we need, J01. We need J01. 2023 is gonna be an interesting year for JK Pop, a very interesting year. And big props to Chad Future for coming back. After 10 years of studying and honing his craft, I believe he's coming back with fire. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking, I got my eyes on him. Uh, J01, I got my eyes on y'all. And any other JK Pop group, if any of you guys if y'all know any other JK pop groups, please let me know in the comments below so that I can look them up and uh, do a reaction to them. Cause I know that there's more than just J01, but y'all let me know if there's any specific JK pop group that you want me to react to. Y'all let me know in the comments, okay? So I don't know why I'm looking down. I'm supposed to be looking at the camera. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, it'll be your boy Abe signing out. Peace, happy new year. Let's keep doing our best, all right? I'm gonna keep doing mine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget again to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Let's do it big, all right? Till next time, peace.